get straight into it, I have some news to share. You probably may have seen if you were on Hungry Healthy Crafts blog this week. But some exciting news. I am going to be working alongside Chibi Tronics and be part of their design team. So there's a lot going on in the background um, and I work full time as well, as well as doing my blog and the YouTube channel and some new stuff coming that you will find out super soon, I promise. So I was a bit nervous of how much time I could really dedicate to them and they were so awesome and amazing. So I'm going to be doing some part time design work for them, uh, I guess like a regular contributor. So on Monday, their new blog went live, their new website actually, and it has a whole section called projects. And you guys can actually upload projects to it as well. So if you have made any Chibitronics cards, then you can add them on there. So let me just rewind a minute because there may be people out there that don't even know what Chibitronics are. Chibitronics is a company that makes, what do they call it? Circuit stickers. So um, little adhesive stickers, but they have an LED in it. So I've got a card that I managed to pull out from my stash. And if you have a little look, it has a little bunny on it. And when I press the bunny, is it lighting up? You might be able to see. Let's have a look, see if that's working. Can you see it? There we go, I think you should be able to see that. So in underneath here, there is some copper tape and a battery and a little LED sticker that allows you to make really fun and cool projects like this. The boys love them, anything a little bit technical. Uh, my husband always appreciates a good light up card. Piper as well, my six year old daughter, she is like, does this one light up mommy? <laughs> she loves this YouTube comics card. Um, so yeah, I had a little giveaway on my blog a little while ago. The person still hasn't claimed their prize. So I will be picking another winner. So if you had already um, entered that giveaway, then um, you may actually still be another chance to win because I'm going to redraw that winner. And as for tonight, do, 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 I'm not making this card, um, but I am going to be making a different card using Chibitronics. So if you are here and you um, have any questions about Chibitronics as I go through, please just shout them out. I will try my best to answer them. So the thing with Chibitronics is that it's a little bit of learning. And at the start, it's very easy to go like, oh, I, this reminds me of physics class at school. Uh, but I promise you, after a little bit of learning, it definitely is a whole lot of fun. And the the face of people, whenever you show it to people, their faces just light up, light up. <laughs> Pun unintentional, but super awesome. So let's um, also, let's put this down. Also in this video today, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Before I talk about that, I'm just gonna have a quick look at some of your comments. What have we got here? Ooh, Tella, hiya, thanks for joining us. And what else have we got? <laughs> Denise says amazing print on your background which is actually what I'm going to talk about um, in just a minute whenever I explain to you guys about the giveaway so I'm never sure whether this is going to glare on the screen or not I'll get my technical assistant to bring up the preview so maybe I can see okay it's not the best image let me see how's that so this is a stamp set called Curious Kitties. Yeah. And it's made by Honeybee Stamps, but I'm on their design team and I helped design some of their stamps back in February. If you've been on my other live streams, you probably already know that. And last week I had a giveaway and Tamara was the lucky one to win. Um, and I am going to be giving this one away during the live stream. So if you have joined us, you will be in with a chance to win this. 
So we'll stick around and we'll do that at some point during the stream. Pop that there for now. And I want to share with you some happy mail that I got in the post this week. You guys are the best. So first of all, Snow. Hi, Marble Mine. Last week I asked Snow, is it Marble Mean or Marble Mine? And she was very kind and told me it's Marble Mine. So, hey Snow. And she very kindly sent me some paper or I guess it's card because it's 210 GSM. She had sent me a beautiful card up here. If you can see, it says, you are super cool. I'm not sure if you can see that at the moment. Put that there for now. This one here. And the card is so smooth and beautiful. And I was drooling over it a little. And this paper or card is by Claire Fontaine and it's called DCP paper. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm not sure if any of the rest of you have tried this, but I'm really excited to get playing. Check it out. So that was the first item of, of Happy Meal that I got this week. And I got more. Hey Denise. Hey everybody, take a look at this cool card. And this is from Denise Watts. Let me see, I don't get any glare on it. And she has a YouTube channel as well, so I recommend that you go and check her out. It's What's She Making. Denise, please feel free to put a link or put a comment with your blog name on there so people can check it out. Let me see. Isn't that so sweet? I have never seen this in greeting before. It looks maybe like a paper smooches style. Um, maybe you can confirm, but I think it's really fun. So she sent me this, but not only did she send me a cool card. Look what else she gave me. Check for glare. Isn't it gorgeous? And um, Denise sent me this print for my craft room and I just love it. It's so bright and colorful and I actually really love the font. It reminds me actually of a top to have whenever she was little and it was always really summery and bright and beautiful and I just love it so it's going to have a permanent home in my craft room thank you again it's for you Ooh, don't fall. got a few more also last week you may remember it might have been the week before that I we were talking about favorite colors, animals, etc. And I was sharing with everyone that my favorite color was teal. And we also had a conversation about animals and I told everyone that my favorite animal is a raccoon. Look at this, check it out. Can you see? Isn't it beautiful? It's just gorgeous. So it looks probably bluer in the video than it actually is in real life. It's really um, got this beautiful teal color and this adorable little raccoon. And also it looks like glossy accents on foam, which I haven't done that in ages and I really need to do that again. It looks amazing. You can confirm Tamara if you're on, which I think you are. Hello. Uh, thank you so much. It, means the world to me and it is going to go up here on the wall along with the rest of the happy meal that i got and i've got more <clears throat> also a beautiful card by maria hey maria absolutely gorgeous i love this blue this wash here and gorgeous sequins as well and it says just a note no act of kindness however small is ever wasted so i think that's so pretty it's gorgeous thank you so much and that was a thank you because i had sent her a handmade card there's more so also i got a little little box and I haven't actually opened it yet. I thought I would wait and open it with you guys. But I think it got a little smooshed in the mail. But that's okay because I can tell that it was made with a lot of love. 
so pretty. And it's filled with chocolate. Amazing. Thank you so much. You guys. To you guys. Also, I got another one from Snow because she was very, very kind. Can we get that? And she um, sent me some um, little labels to go on some Copic markers. And as I was opening the envelope, I actually saw this label. Can you see? Consider yourself hugged. How adorable is that? And I, I peeled it off because I thought, oh, that is so sweet. And then when I opened it up, she had actually included some stickers for me to stick on my cards, which was brilliant, amazing. And also she sent me some, can you see, purple washi tape because I shared last week my blending brushes in my little foxy cup and to signify the colors of that I was using for each one I put a little strip of washi tape around it but I didn't have any purple washi tape so I used some ribbon and as you can see that was rather unsuccessful but now I have a little bit of purple washi tape to go around my brushes so thank you thank you thank you and I think that is us. I have been absolutely spoiled this week. And I cannot wait to really jump in and share some crafting with you. I, it's been a hard week. It's been a really great week, but it's been hard and I haven't really had much time to craft. So I'm so delighted that you can join me. Let's have a quick look before we turn the camera around at some of your comments. What have we got? Tummy's Scrap Treasures, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Which blending brushes are those? So I spoke about this last week. These are not actually blending brushes. Um, I cheated a little. These are just bog standard makeup brushes, like blusher brushes, that I bought at the pound shop. So they were one pound each, and they had long bristles, they had a nice sort of tapered edge and I thought I would give them a go. To be honest, I think the tougher bristles work a little bit better, but they were they were cheap. I think that the blending brushes, the clarity ones anyway, um, they can be, I think they're quite expensive. I'm not saying they're not worth it. I haven't actually used them. So I can't tell you like for like, but, um, one of the things that I did to get around that Tammy was I put, I've got a little, it was a piece of packaging actually that I just um, wrapped around and used the adhesive from a, you know, the, the poly bag that you get. And I put it around my brush and then if I push it up, it makes the bristles a bit stiffer. So I'm, you know, I like looking at what's out there in general stores and seeing if you know they have a crafty use <laughs> what else have we got out there watching with my six-year-old crafty daughter Imogen hi Imogen hello my little princess I have a crafty princess in this house as well her name is Piper thank you for joining us Piper although she is in bed at the moment because it is just past nine o'clock at night with us so she is well probably knowing her she has probably turned on the light and started reading again but lovely to have you with this Imogen what else have we got here Tammy says that she has bought several expensive ones and they have disappointed you oh that absolutely that sucks I'm sorry but uh, I I haven't tried any others um, so that's interesting to know mm. okay Hi, Pink. Oh, gosh. Pequina? Is that right? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, in case anyone has jumped on, um, I want to just quickly mention that I am going to be doing a giveaway today during the live stream. 
with curious kitties. But for now, let's turn you guys around and um, point the camera down at my table. So hold on tight, everybody, because you're going to go on a little bit of a merry-go-round. And I'll move this microphone over slightly as well. So, that's okay. Let's see if we can move this over. Just a few minutes while I get this adjusted. Comments. Let's have a look. Put some things down here so that we can focus and make sure that it's working okay. How's that? Should we zoom in a little bit more? Are we good? <laughs> Denise gives a shout out to Craig the cameraman. Yes, absolutely. Hobby Craig is, um, is amazing. I don't think I'd be able to do this Hey Elizabeth, thank you for joining me. Everybody who is not aware of Elizabeth, she does some crafty kits called Love From Lizzie. You can go onto her website and check them out. And she puts together the most gorgeous supplies and collections of kits, which are just great. And recently been um, uh, featured, I guess, on Amy R's YouTube channel. So have a little look. Snow say, says that she's lagging a bit. Let's have a little look if there's anything we can do. Bunny Dobby. Hi Bunny. Bunny said last week or a few days ago that she was putting some plans in place to make sure that hubby was sorted <laughs> so uh, he knew that bunny had big plans for her friday so instructions from hubby craig i think you need to click on the live button to catch up so there is a live button apparently under the video and if you click on the live button that should click that should um, catch you guys up so please give it a shot I think it's just to the right of the you know where you go to pause and then just over to um, the little thing pops up snow says it's better great rose colored glasses you're snow I am too snow oh, no I thought you said your name was snow again Great, Suzanne, thank you so much for joining us. I am glad that I am uh, getting so many of you on a Friday night. That's amazing. I thought that perhaps Friday wasn't the best time to do it. Everyone will have other plans, but I don't. So, <laughs> so this is what works for me. <laughs> I hope it works for you too. All right, Craig's just still fiddling and I'm just, I've pulled out a couple of things here. So I wasn't completely clueless when I started today. So recently I got, let me get the actual stamp set. Excuse me, Greg. Recently I got this stamp set here, which is from my favorite things. <laughs> Do you remember I said that Piper was doing some labeling for me and they sometimes don't come out the way that they're supposed to? Well, this is called Very Special Birthday. Can you see what it says? Oh, it's not gonna focus. Let's have a look. <laughs> Be 
very special birthday. <laughs> so, yeah, that's cute. I'm gonna leave that there. And, um, <laughs> and play with this stamp set today. I haven't really had a chance to play with these guys yet, but they are so sweet. So I plan to use it for this video. And I thought that this image here would be a good one because it has little candles. And with the light up, the Chibatronics light up circuit, I'm going to try to incorporate some candles behind it. So Craig, it looks like YouTube's doing weird things. You just tell me if you need me to do anything different, okay? So I'm going to start off with some stamping and colouring in with some Copic markers, I think, today. Shall I grab my Mini Misty to get started? And I think I'm going to test out Snow's gorgeous Claire Fontaine markers. I mean paper. Getting too excited here. So let's take a look. Okay, oh it's so smooth. It feels like it's coated or something. I'm not sure, but it feels like magic. Okay, so I definitely want this one. I know that for sure. And I think I'm going to go for this one as well to go on the inside. I'm not, not sure where I'm going yet. But if you've been here at some of my other streams, you will probably know. I kind of make it up as it comes. Snow says she has converted some people. Thank you so much. That's amazing. I am really delighted to hear that. Thank you very much. Oh no, we've got somebody who said that they didn't have any sound. I hope that is fixed for you now. And please confirm and we'll sort that out. I'm sure someone would, more people would be saying if, if, um, if it was a constant problem, maybe a lag. Love your mini Misty. I love it too, except I'm really used to the bigger one. I have the, oops, I have the, not the scrapbook one, but the original one that came out. Um, and I've kind of, gotten used to it but I do enjoy that this one takes up less room on my craft table absolutely we've got loads of people here some people from the Netherlands we've got from Canada yay oh pink pin I, I can't say it I need to think about it pink Kiana, I'm just going to call you Pink. <laughs> Pink, you said that your Tim Holtz platform came today. I want to know about that. Is it good? Is it great? <gasps> oh, I'd, I'd love to try it out. I saw it in action at Creativation, but I didn't actually get to play with it myself. So cool. So I think somebody asked about... Um, the stamp set. So it's my favorite things, very special birthday. Hey Nancy, Nancy has to go to work, you poor thing. I am done for the week, whoop, whoop, whoop. So it's crafting time for me. Right, I am going to grab, <laughs> I'm going to grab my stamp chamois and it's not even in here. Let me see if I can hunt it down. Here it is. Ooh, it needs a good spritz. Absolutely solid. Let's give it a spritz. I'll put this to the side for now. <laughs> Pink is fine. Thank you. 
Gail says it is, uh, she's from California. Yay. Hey Gail, did you notice at the start of the video that I've got California jumper on? Just for you. Did it just for you. And uh, the feed sometimes stalls. I have got hobby working beside me to um, see if we can fix that for you guys. If it feels like it's lagging, there is a live button. If you go to like click pause to decide it, there is a button that says live. You can try that. Oh, this was so dry. Give it a good, good wash. If you guys weren't here, I probably run in and put it under the tap, but didn't want to leave you guys. Right, looking good. We've got Tammy from Buffalo, New York. I'm also stalling. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Craig is on it. Hopefully, we have a solution. Let's just clean these down. I do like to make sure that my stamps are clean before I put them away because if I don't, I'll forget about it. Also, I think it's good to give the stamp image a few minutes to dry before I start putting any putting any markers on it. Tammy says, that's the same Shami I have. Yeah, this was another cheapo one. I'm all about the budgeting. If you can, if you can budget, then that's more money for stamps, in my opinion. Snow says it's just lagging every once in a while. If Craig wasn't here, I would say that he was inside playing a game online or something, but I can't blame him because he's right beside me. <laughs> right, put this back. I'm going to color these little guys in first and foremost and I'm not sure if you noticed and I don't think I mentioned I used my Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink which was a new purchase because I was coerced by all of you guys. <laughs> um, let me grab my copies. may need to zoom in, in a little bit but that's okay for now. So I mentioned earlier that no, very kindly sent me some sticker things or little swatches to go onto my copics, which will go on here, which means that I won't for much longer have to do, do this where I have to pull it out and check what it's like. So I'm really excited about that. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, let's start off with some W0. So while Craig is doing some tech support, can't see all of your comments, so you'll just have to talk to one another while I um, while I do some copy coloring. But please let me know if there's any other issues. Maybe we can maybe start or something. Let Leslie know if it keeps lagging. That's from Craig. Hey, Craig. Great. <laughs> so I've started off with some C, no, W0, warm gray zero. And I need to add a little one along the edges. Bye, Craig. And um, Hydriad is saying, wow, what a collection of Copics. Um, I've been speaking to someone on Facebook called Tamara. And um, she has just done a massive, massive order of Copic markers. She sent me a picture of the box and yeah, it would make you drool, honestly. Hey Gail, thank you so much to say that it is 
it is working nice maybe Craig dropped down to um, like a lower quality or something 1080p or something I don't know something technical that's not really my kind of jam that's why he's here so I'm adding a little bit of shadow around the outside with my W3 <laughs> ah Hydriad says tu m'as reconnu that must be Tamara hiya glad to have you joining us and you were sneaking in because you didn't have a you didn't have a, a name that I recognized <laughs> okay how is this little bear looking so far let me see and um, I'm going to do the bear on the other side in exactly the same coloring while I've got my copics out so uh, what I want to know <laughs> oh, Tamara says that I speak French very well and she'd like to speak English as well as I speak French maybe that is a fun fact that you guys did not know that I do speak French I actually studied French at university many years ago okay this guy is so cute I love him Cynthia yeah he is cute isn't he oh, adorable you know I kept seeing him on people's cards and I, I really wanted him, but there was always something else that uh, that I wanted instead. <laughs> because you know, I want I want them all. That's the truth of it. I do want them all. And then someone on Facebook, I think I might have mentioned this in my craft date, my April craft haul, uh, that someone was clearing out their craft room, and they were basically selling all their stuff because they, they uh, she was trying to economize and save some money or something and she was selling them for for cheap and they had the dice with them as well and it was it was awesome to be able to get the bundle and I've actually got a really funny story about that because um, uh, it was a Facebook selling group that is for the UK and when I saw it I messaged her you know on Facebook you send like a direct message and then as soon as I sent the direct message it said I don't remember her name it's such and such a name friends with blah -de blah and blah -de blah and the two the two names that I saw were my brother and my auntie <laughs> and I was like that is so weird I know I'm sure all you guys in like American stuff think well actually <laughs> you guys the UK is just tiny anyway you guys must all know each other but no not quite my friends not quite um, but I thought that was really funny okay I'm gonna move on to some YR triple zero <laughs> Tamara, French Tamara is saying that it's very rare to see two Tamaras. Yeah, that is true. Let's give them some cute little pink nosies. So, question for you guys. Have you guys used Chibitronics circuits? Hmm? I want to know that. And I want to know what your thoughts are so far. I'm going to do this little guy's snout with some C1, just so that it's a different kind of gray, different color of gray. C3, I'm looking for C0. C0, haha. <laughs> so after a while, I think you kind of get used to the actual colors that are showing. <laughs> So very rare, like the, there's definitely some go-to 
go to uh, colors that I know. Cynthia, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, come and join us later if we're still on. You go and do what you need to do. Don't you worry. This is me playing on Friday night, so there's absolutely no pressure for you guys to stick around. I love it when you do. I'm probably still be here yammering on by the time you get back. <laughs> so I thought that I would use some teal colors and maybe a little bit of red on this guy. Have a great day, Cynthia. Oops, I just went over. R05 I've got here now. And let me add a little to here as well. And I'm going to go grab my Foxy cup because any that I use, I'll put them in the cup and then I can take a note for the um, for the video. So let me grab that. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. Some stuff in it. That's all right. Pop them there for now. <laughs> Cuckoo. Oh, Leslie, do you always use the same color combos? Not always, but I think that sometimes I get a bit lazy. Oh, I know it's awful to say, but I do. You know, whenever you see something that you like, it's probably because I don't get as much time to craft as I would like. So I, when I do have time to craft, it's really to craft and not to experiment. There will be times when I really need to tidy my craft room, like today, yeah. So, do you notice a quick turn? Of the of the um of the camera, so yeah, there's some mess over there. I went outside the line here, so I'm going to use the chisel tip to try and move it in. Although the red, if you guys are familiar with Copic markers, sometimes the red can be a right beast. Snow says, I have a little notebook where I write down all my color combos per card so that I can look up a combo I've liked and used it previously. Funny you should say that because I also did this. I do that when I'm not live. Let me see. And I'm glad I did because, let me see here. Um, Tamara Hidriad said to me, oh, can you tell me which which Copics that you used for this card and this card? I was like, oh geez, I, I, I don't even remember. But luckily I had, just before I took the video, I had sort of sketched an idea and I had this notebook to the side and I'd written down all of the, all of the colors that I had used. And because of that, I actually just was able to send her a picture of this. And I think that's where she has done a big massive a big, a big massive order because she is um, she's going to give it a go and recreate some of the cards that I made which is awesome so I am going to move on to the cake the cake <laughs> Samara's liking the the live sesh. Great to have you here. So another fun fact about Leslie. I don't like chocolate cake. I like chocolate. Don't like chocolate cake. Don't like chocolate ice cream. Love chocolate. Don't like all those chocolatey things. Don't really know why. I think it's too rich or it gets really dry or something. It's not, it's not fun for me. So I've got here E21, E33. I am being a bit lazy here. I'm not even looking looking at some of the colors. I'm just eyeballing it. But sometimes that's how the magic happens. Don't hear anything. 
this out. I got really excited because this weekend for Piper's homework, she has to um, do some research or something on pointillism, like, you know, the your little dots. We called it stippling whenever I was in school. I don't know whether that is still called stippling or whether that is what the old fuddy duddies call it. <laughs> but yeah, and I was like, yeah, Piper, yeah, we can do some copied marking and stippling, pointillism. Uh, yeah, so that is something that I do like to do to create a little texture. <laughs> Tamara says, um, love chocolate, but no chocolate ice cream or cake for me. What is it? Is it the fact that it's too, I don't know, it's, it's, I, I think it kind of feels fake or something. My hubby is the same with oranges, likes oranges, but hates orange flavored um chocolate or anything with orange in it you know um what do you call them jaffa cakes i'm not a fan of those so i buy the jaffa cakes and i eat them myself <laughs> yeah hey Suze, great to have you great to have you here thanks for joining us cake is dry yeah cake is dry Okay, I'm going to do teal because I love my teal. Uh, BG10 is going to be my lightest colour, I think. Uh, let's do BG34, my dark one. <laughs> so, so far, I'm really enjoying this paper. I think I'm going to have to figure out how to get it. Maybe Tamara can buy me some if it's Claire Fontaine. Maybe <laughs> so get it more easily in on the mainland mainland Europe. Or I mean stick with me here. What if I can use this as an excuse to uh, go on holiday in Europe? But Craig, I really have to go because I need to get some Claire Fontaine paper. <laughs> Oh, Suze was at pink. I think that's probably pink and main stamps trunk show at the local scrapbook store and then got stuck in traffic. Oh, pink and main, eh? What did you buy? Send us linkies. Snow says the paper is really cheap. Nice. That's nice to hear, isn't it? Especially whenever, like the, the, what do you call it, Nina, it's not, I don't think it's that cheap actually. Or maybe it is cheap, but I like, the Nina I like to buy is the 8.5 by 11, and that's the one that's hard to get hold of over here anyway. Because that red is not one to budge. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> Four cute stamp sets and sequins. She has tiny ones. I really want to get tiny sequins. There's tiny sequins by, what do you call them? Uh, Pretty Pink Posh, is that what it's called? And they, I don't know, I haven't really found a, a store over here that sells them or should I say that sells them along with other things that I want to buy because they're, it's the kind of thing where I don't want to spend three pounds on on sequins and then three, three pounds on postage and packaging but you know needs must needs must I think I'm going to need a bit of a darker colour for this one Owner Michelle of Pink and Main, I guess, is local here in Atlanta. That's cool. Very cool. Let's add some of these. I'm not sure if I missed it or if anybody mentioned 
Have you guys used Chibitronics before? Lucy's thing. Yes, I do have some of Lucy's things. You see Abrams? I do have some of them. I actually put them in a little a little bottle. Right here. And they're just beautiful. I might actually use some of hers in this card. She has a collection which I bought ages ago. And I think it's called something like Lagoon. And it has the most beautiful like blues and teals. But yeah, I really enjoy these because there's a mix there's a mix of sizes, although the smaller ones in here seem to all have the hole in them. But the ones from Pretty Pink Posh are actually just like sequins, but smaller. So it doesn't have, it's not like a donut shape. It's more of a proper kind of sequin model. Okay. How are we looking? Um, let me see if I can figure out how to focus on this guy. Right, autofocus, here we go. Oh, uh oh. Struggling a bit. Probably because I'm not holding it straight. Can you see? What's your thoughts? <laughs> I think it's not really liking the focus there. But hopefully you could take a look. And I try to get your comments back now. Okay. I realized then that I hadn't done my you call them candles so let's do them now add these in right and a little darker as well how's that looking So here we go, I wanted to have a little look. I made a card once, but I still have to play with the colored ones that I won from. That's right, I forgot about that. Um, Snow won the giveaway that I had from Chibitronics back in December. Yay! And um, don't have Chibitronics set, but it is on my wish list, which is already way too long. Yeah, I know that. Okay. On pretty trouvé, same as his stamp. Yep, yep, yep. Do you have any chibis? Here we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cut these guys out. Let's move some of these over to the side. <laughs> what does that mean, Snow? You're saying you've sent too many messages. Take a break. Are you saying you're sending too many messages? No such thing. Hello. Let's get this guy on here. I think I'll either, I'm not sure whether I'll use the white. Um, I'm gonna move this table forward. Hold on tight. There we go. Um, I'm not sure whether to use the white LEDs or the yellow for candles. Open to suggestions. I'm really loving this card. Oh, YouTube said that to you. YouTube said that you were sending too many messages. How rude. Rude indeed. Oh, here it is. Let's have a look, see, pooksy. Okay. Yellow would look cute. Yeah, was it? Hi, Kathleen. Hey. Haven't seen your name pop up there before. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Da 
Time to get the big man in. Ooh. And now that I'm a bit closer, you can have a look at this again. You make my world that much brighter, thank you. Wee. Yeah, the yellow is cool. I think that would work well for the for the candles. And a reminder to anyone who is newly joined, we are doing a giveaway today to give away the Curious Kitty stamp set by Honey Bee Stamps. Design and collaboration with little old me. Little old me. Right. <laughs> so rude of them. Let's have a look. Where is my frosty little glitter? glitter mat. So, um, I mentioned before that the, this glitter mat was given away at creativation and loads of people are like oh i'm so jealous but i don't know whether it's the glitter or i'm imagining things but sometimes it feels it feels like when i run through a die with this mat when i take out the paper sometimes there's like dirty marks on it and i don't know whether it's the little pieces of glitter or whether it's because there was some dirt on it which quite frankly could be possible in my craft room or or there was dirt on the rollers or something i don't know let's see that plate is so pretty it is pretty that's the thing No, you're being very brave going out there and speaking French. Although I, it's only just dawned on me, maybe French is your is your mother tongue, is it? I don't know. Put these little guys back here. I know Tamara bought um, adhesive magnetic sheets, which I thought was like, interesting. I never even thought of that before. And um, do you like how the papers die cut? Yeah. They do, they go through really well. I'm very bad chuffed. Oh, my focus has got a bit weird. I like it a lot. Oh, they're just so cute. They're so cute. Right, let's get down to business. Grab my chibis. big splash here so bear with me so for the chibi tronics you need batteries and something I discovered actually whenever I was posting Snow's prize to her is in the UK anyway they do not like posting lithium batteries so per Craig got sent on the mission to go to the post office and um, he got the ninth degree and he had, excuse me, he had to take the batteries out and I totally forgot, I totally spaced and forgot to tell Snow. And then um, she was like, um, I think someone stole some of my stuff, it's funny. <laughs> I scrub my plates with dish soap and scrub brush every week. So I never have a problem with any more of my smudges. I can barely scrub scrub my kitchen counters every <laughs> week. I'm just joking, but maybe not as <laughs> maybe I'm a bit more serious than I um, <laughs> than I would like to admit. Um, but that is awesome. I never even thought of that. Tella, thank you for joining us. I know that it is late for some of you guys, especially in Europe. So thank you for hopping on. <laughs> You hinted at an announcement during the last live session. I never found out what it was. So yes, Carrie, I remember what the announcement was and it actually ties in with the video for tonight. Um, Chibitronics are, uh, they've just announced, or I guess developed, uh, launched, is maybe the right word? Launched their new website and it has a blog and a project section. And, the wonderful people at Chibitronics have um, 
asked me to be a regular contributor to their site. So I am, I guess, like a part-time design team member because I, I was a bit dubious of committing myself to full, to to more than well, to to more than what would be reasonable, given the fact that I work full time and also have other fun things to do. So yes, I'm very excited about that. Whoop, whoop. And I would encourage you guys to go over and have a little look at the blog. Go to chibitronics.com and click on the project section. There's loads of projects there and there's also loads more coming, which is super exciting. Oh, Carrie says, same in the US. Oh, let me see if we can figure out some more here. It's Dutch, but I live close to Brussels and needed to know both French and Dutch to work there. So we grew up being taught French. Excellent, that's cool. <laughs> oh, bless. Okay, so let me walk you through what we've got here. So the, the main event, I guess, is the lights. And as you can probably tell, oh, glare. As you can probably tell, this was the first one I got, which is red, blue, and yellow, and they're practically all used up. Then um, I managed to get the pink, orange, and green, and also some white as well. I haven't really used very many of these ones yet, so I will um, be excited to use some of these some more times. So you basically don't need very much. You need a battery, you need a light, and you need some copper tape. So this is adhesive, a bit like, um, you know, like a double-sided sticky tape or whatever, you pull off the release on the back, but the top is copper. And Chibitronics sell them, you know, like this, but you can also get a starter kit, which gives you lots of instructions. But I'm gonna be walking you through, have I even got a yellow? Yeah, I've got a yellow. I'm gonna be walking you through how I'm making it today, but you will be able to also see lots of tutorials over on their blog. They also have, oh yeah, orange would be fun for the candles too. I think you might be right. Alexandra, what are you saying, my dear? I noticed that using micropore tape leaves an adhesive residue on the top cutting plate. Do you, do you mean this, the adhesive goes up through it? So if you have your, if this was, you know, your micropore tape and you run it through, it's like the adhesive squishes up through and it leaves a mark on the top? Because if so, maybe that's what's happened. Maybe that's what's happened to my mat because I think I probably did use some micropore tape on it and I'm wondering if the adhesive stuck on the mat and um, I really just need to give it a good scrub. Interesting. Bye pink. Sweet dreams, my dear. So the other thing that Chibitronics has is an effects pack and I haven't even used these yet. It is just new to me. So I shall have to do some playing. I'm not, don't think I'm going to use the effects today because I want to make sure I understand how to use them before I, well, make a live stream over it, I guess. We've got Twinkle. Oh, you're not going to be able to see because of the weird focus thing. Twinkle, Heartbeat, Blink, and Fade. That's so cool. Can't wait to try them out. Twinkle heartbeat, blink fade, cool. Right, let's put that aside. So I've got my battery, I have got my copper tip, and I have got my two trunks. I'm gonna pop that there and move over to my card. Right. So I have a trick when I make Chibitronics cards. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not complicated. It's actually very, very simple. But I always use a Lawn Fawn large stitched rectangle die or something like that, like a large die to create the base of my card. Because then I cut another one just out of some normal card 
to go underneath and um, I can make sure that the, it basically makes it really easy to line up the top and the bottom layer. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And my thought was I would bring in some like teal colors into my card. And I really like this um, scalloped rectangle. And I thought maybe I could layer that on top of um, on top of the rectangle and maybe have this hanging down. I'm not sure, but I shall give it a whirl um, and we'll take it from there. Oh, Dale's here. Hi, Dale, Alessi. Oh, bless you. I think you got the one that was a little bumblebee. That was a fun one to make. I like that. That was part of the Chibitronic, not Chibitronic, silly me. That was part of the Honeybee Stamps new release. And it had a fun little piece of acetate for the bee hanging down. That meant that it was really, it would like dangle. So that was fun. Let's bring these over. Cut out some panels to get us started. <laughs> Snow wants to make a light up card. You'll be inspired to go and make a card, then be sure to send it to me on Instagram. <laughs> imagining things. I'll do I'll use the mark on this one and I'll use this one for the for the circuit. I think I'm a little wide. Good night Tamara. It's late for all our Euro European friends. It's getting late for me too but I'm a night owl. I don't really do mornings. I'm terrible at mornings. I'm always late for school and everything. Bonne nuit. Bon rêve. Oops. Okay, 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 okay. Oops, I didn't mangle that. Never mind. Hi, Eden. Glad to have a fellow UK crafter on to join the fun. So, in case you have noticed I'm making it up as I go along, let's see what we've got. I might do, yeah, I think I'm going to cut this in the sort of the teal colour. And I have some Lawn Fawn Mermaid, which is a pretty color. So I'll cut this out. <gasps> hey, have you guys seen the new Lawn Fawn release? Have you? It looks amazing. I am absolutely going to be spending all my money. Long form. It happens. Bon scrap à tout. Yes. Happy crafting. That's what I say. Pop you over there. Convince. I'm gonna swap this over with. I think I'm gonna take your advice and give this a good scrub. And for now, I use my my other one. Although it's probably just as bad, to be honest. Here we go. That looks lovely. Now I'm going to cut a frame in the middle of it. I'll also do 
one of these little guys from this. Will it fit over here? Yes, it will. I love it when that happens. Hi, Ariana. Greetings from Florence, Italy. Is it not quite late with you? Snow says she has one from AliExpress. Do you mean a cutting mat? Or wish? Wait a second. Oh, here we go. Where is that fish tail die from? Yes, it is. It's either from AliExpress or wish. Uh, snow is correct. And um, I'm pretty sure it was maybe snow that converted me to, to wish and Ali AliExpress. Um, it is a an app on your phone and they're super super cheap it takes a kind of a long time to get to you but it's yeah it's super cheap so i thought that i would try try it out now i'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see but if i hold it like here can you see it's a bit feathery on the edge and you know that's the mark of you know the difference between high quality dyes that you would get you know in the shops and things compared to some of these dyes that I think they're mass produced in I don't know China or something like that I'm not sure but yeah I think it says it comes from China and um, I think that they're they're all right especially you know you're making a card it's people aren't going to really be scrutinizing it that much um, it might annoy some people like for example here this stitching line is closer to the edge than this one this one and this one you might not notice it my eye picks it up and would probably annoy me um, in the long run but like I said they were only a few pence and I think well maybe two pounds something like that so let's see if I'm gonna cut this out let's grab another die see what we have got right so I could go for hello Palembang who's Palembang if I miss someone hey hey if you're there mm, this looks like it might be a good size I do have another one from Wish let me grab it which I haven't even taken out of its little plastic wrapper yet. And it is, oh, noisy. <laughs> um, it is a rectangle with little dots along it, little embossing dots. So I could use that, that could possibly work as well, but it's not the right aspect ratio. So it has been rejected. I find a nail file works great for feathered edges that's a great suggestion from carol i love it when you guys and um, chime in with your ideas i think that's one of the most awesome things i am um, actually you can get these sanding blocks this was originally white <laughs> And it looks like one of those nail files that you use for your, your nails. But it is actually a sanding block from an art shop. And yes, that's the kind of thing that you could use as well. I keep this on one of my shelves. It does. Yeah, it works great. And someone else mentioned that if you put your die at an angle, then it doesn't clunk as much. Stacy's Lake. Oh, Stacy, we were wondering where you were. <laughs> I've wondered about this price difference. Now I know why. Well, there is that. There is the quality, I think, absolutely. Um, and yeah, I think in general, I don't know, this could be dangerous territory because in generalizing, um, I think in general, the, the, the factories and things and labor, etc., in China 
is just so cheap and I have actually seen um, instances where you'd see like a, a lawn fawn die set become released and then all of a sudden it will be available they're basically ripping off the companies which uh, which is a shame in a way because I think that you know the, com the companies have designed it and put all the hard work into it and now they're being ripped off which is so sad I don't know whether I want that big blue bit let's see what you look like mister mister teddy bear I think he's too blue I think we're gonna need to go a different color here what's your thoughts peoples maybe what we'll do is we'll have a blue background no but the blue background then you're not gonna be able to see the candles as well the detailing isn't as nice as snow yes on the dyes that you get from wish I would agree I would agree okay I'm going to cut this guy again in some white and goodness knows I might even change my mind again and go for a different dye there and I'm sorry that it feels like I don't know what I'm doing but the truth of the matter is I don't know what <laughs> Snow really likes the blue. Someone else really likes the blue. Tamara likes the blue. I've got some cute, cute, cute remarks. That's good. Okay. Let me create some space so I can move my big shot over again. do is offset them slightly so it's like a little shadow that might be fun shadow and this guy here <laughs> I think he's cute so I don't I don't know whether it's my computer but this looks like blue but it's actually a teal color I promise you it's a teal color you see teal pretty um, the other thing that I got recently was these stamps. They were second hand, but I thought that they'd be awesome for Chibitronics and I'm moving them again. I'll put them steady. It's hard to see because they are much loved. It says, I love you to the stars and back. Reach for the stars. You shine. You're a star. I thank my lucky stars for you. And I thought they would be really cute with some Chibitronic stuff. But um, I don't think they're going to work with today's card. So that's okay. We'll do like this on that list. I'm going to start sticking some of this down. I, might, I want to put a grating here. I need a grating. Oh, Elizabeth's back with, um, she's just back from walking Lucy. The most gorgeous little cavoodle. Adorable. Welcome, thank you for joining us. I'm just trying to find a um, greeting. Oh, I know what we should do. We should do surprise because it is a surprise when you press it. Sold, decision has been made. <laughs> or happy birthday. Well, maybe we'll do happy birthday in the inside. <laughs> Lucy, that was um, very admirable of you that even though there was crafting going on, you were so committed to little Lucy. Did I call you Lucy a second ago? I'm Elizabeth. So committed to little Lucy that you still, anyway, went out and walked her. That's awesome. So I think that's enough room. Oh no, it's lagging again. That's rubbish. I'm sorry, guys. Right, so I'm going to have teal and I'm going to have the bear. And I think we should have red 
um, a red color for the surprise. And then maybe we can add some stars or something with a gray color to tie everything together. Try not to stand on the keyboard. That has been abandoned on the floor. Standard procedure. I love that tag shape behind the bear. It looks like he's standing in front of an open door. That is awesome. I'm glad to hear that. So I'm not sure if you guys have Simon Says Stamp Lipstick Red Dye Based Ink oh. and it, it stands quite well but it sure does stain your stamps. Nearly everything that I, I at start when I got these dyes I um, did some swatches and once I got to the red so I started off with the light colors like light gray yellow etc and whenever I got to the red I, I just could not get my stamp clean enough um, in enough time to actually continue I lost the wheels so this one I sh probably should have prepped that stamp before stamping it because it's not stamping the best smoothest quality love the commitment i was watching some of the phones <laughs> some on my phone but couldn't comment <laughs> how annoying well we're glad to have you with us all right let's try this can you even see me trying to attempt this it's just not even coming off let's grab get the big guns in ultra clean hero arts and a stamp scrubber look how gross it is i promise you it's clean i this one i did clean um but it i kind of saved this for for the really tough ones normally you don't need to scrub it so much but this lipstick red lovely color beastly clean I think that's probably the best I'm going to be able to do. Some dyes actually, guess what? They dye your stamps. Funny that, isn't it? And they don't damage them. So this Ultra Clean, I don't know if you've noticed, but it kind of, I think it's meant to condition your stamps. Um, one of the videos I had with, oh, what's his name from Brutus Monroe? Is his name Chris? Oh, I'm having a complete blank. One of the videos I did with him, they do a, they do a cleaner. And he said that, you know, whenever you feel it with your hands, you feel the difference because it's meant to condition the stamp as well. And he recommended that, you know, you, you'll feel the difference on the stamp set once you've, once you have cleaned it. But he recommended before you put it away, just leave it to the side for a few minutes and that will actually help it like air dry and um, yeah that will that will help things so, so we'll do that we'll let it air dry so I'm gonna stick some of these down all of my red stamp pads leave a pink stain I think it's just the color red it's like the Copic markers as well they they just want to to bleed which is fine because it's red looks like blood blood do you have a favorite brand of dye inks or does it depend on the color good question so i don't have masses amount of inks well if you ask my husband, does this he have masses amount of inks? He would say yes, and maybe some other people would as well. <laughs> I have got just inks, so those are those are dye inks, but they're not they're not they're not real dye inks in my opinion. They're distress inks. They're completely on its own. I have got a fairly good collection of Simon dye inks. 
which I enjoy some more than others. And I have, I have, what do I have? I've got one or two hero art inks from many years ago. And I also have a couple of dye inks from Adirondack, but they are more earth tones. And I've probably got maybe eight or nine pigment inks. Oh, I can't believe I didn't pay attention there. Oof. Let's mess that up. Um, yeah, so I am not, I, I guess I can't really say because um, I, I haven't really used a massive range, in all honesty. But I do enjoy the summit system. I never knew there was cleaning products um, to get the clean to get the stamps clean. I have just used baby wipes. Is that bad? Asks Elizabeth. No, it's not bad. You do what you want, love. And um, I use baby I used baby wipes as well before the stamp chamois was released and I really enjoy the stamp chamois. However, however, some baby wipes have got alcohol in it or maybe it's like ethanol or polyethanol I don't know anything that ends in all is an alcoholic type thing which in a way in itself is crazy because they're meant for babies right um so I would recommend that you check the back make sure it doesn't have a word ending in all <laughs> and um I can show you the ones that I use and have used for years. Huggies Pure. They, um, the thing I like best about these, I, I hate the pampers, I'm sorry. They're fine for babies, but not for stumps. And um, some, especially cheap baby wipes, they're, they're meant to, they're made to be really soft. So they almost feel like a cotton ball or cotton wool. Um, but then whenever you rub it on your stamp, little bits of fluff gets everywhere and it's annoying. These ones are fluff free. And um, so yeah, I really know this one. Suze says, yes, Chris, I'm not sure. Um, look, I got, a, I got a piece of red here. Can you see? I'm not sure whether that's my nail varnish or that sneaky red lipstick ink um, color. Or it might be my nail polish. Sometimes I find that when I scratch it, it happens, which is a pain. Okay, so I'm going, what I'm gonna do is lay this out here. I'm gonna use some stick it post it note tape to glue this. And I'm going to hover my pencil and then do that. Put a little mark on there. Hit the fluff too, says Tamara. Yeah. If you are using baby wipes and you are having a fluffy um fluffy issue, then I would recommend that you either use different baby wipes or indeed um, invest in a stump chamois. I preferred Huggies over Pampers even when my children were babies. Me too, me too. So I've got this other um, rectangle and um, this is sort of where my hack comes in. I've marked on the front here where I want that light to be and I am going to put that behind. I'm going to use this as a template but I'm gonna grab a tool, which is by no means necessary, but for convenience, I'm gonna grab it. And it is called the Silent Setter. This has been here for years, years and years. Do you remember whenever you had to set eyelets with a hammer? I remember that. How are things going? Streaming working well for everyone, asks hubby Craig. Um, Craig, it was lagging a little bit a little while ago, but I think we're all good now. Oh no, Mark Snow says it's lagging quite a bit. 
you can come and fix it. Right, so yes, do you remember whenever you had two set eyelets with a hammer back many moons ago? Well, Provocraft came out with this tool called the Silent Setter, and you get these little nozzly bits that um, have different sizes of holes. You just pop it in, it's magnetic, so it's not going to fall out, and you get a sturdy, sturdy little mat. I might just be able to so you need to put your elbow up. So excuse my elbow. And you just give it a little twist. Oh, I didn't do it hard enough. And that's it cut out. It's useful if it's further in than your um you know like a crocodile or something will allow. I often smoosh my eyelets when I set with the hammer. I know. <laughs> Carrie, you're so sweet. Listen to this. It's lagging a little bit. I'm lagging a lot and it shut down a few times, but no issues the last time though. But we love Leslie, so we don't mind. Yay. Okay, so I have a hole here. And I'm gonna line it up like this. Do that. And now I can work on my circuit. So the other thing that I, want to do is figure out roughly where my press button will be so line it up hold my finger move that away put my finger down it's extremely technical put a little extra rooney there and you need to go back in your dish because otherwise i will lose you right so i know that i want my led to be here so here's where the fun bits come in I also know that I want my battery to be here because the reason that the circuit works is that it's a loop. So on the battery you have got a plus sign and on the back this is the negative. So you've got a positive side and a negative side. And for your convenience on the little stickers they are teeny little triangles. I'm going to see if I can do some autofocus magic. Do this one. I've got too many things on my desk. Not liking it. Just have to deal with it down here. Okay, so it's a little triangle like this, and in the middle, but then this is the middle, it has the light, the LED. And each of these are this pack here has red, yellow, and blue. So each of those little triangles has a, a letter on it Y, B, or R, depending on the color. And also on each side, there is a negative and a positive. So the pointy end up here is the negative and the chubby fat end down here is the positive. And all you really need to know is that positive goes with positive and negative goes with negative. So I'm just gonna crack on and we're going to need my LED to go here. And if I just kind of draw that in, it's not necessary, but it might help you guys visualize it. Like a little triangle like this. This is going to be my negative side, and this is going to be my positive side. So we're going to need a um, pop cover tape to come down here to go to the positive side and then one to come down to go to the negative side. So in order to do a to make a little um what's the word a little switch you need a little piece of copy paper or something like that. So I'm just going to cheat and use some post-it note paper for now and put this down with the sticky side up but I need a little bit of tape runner to put this here. 
Whoopsies. So, it's okay, I can still see where the X is, but I will draw the mark on so you can see it as well. And this is going to go on here. And I want a negative to go to the negative. So you can just rip this, it's super easy. And the other thing is, you can cut it lengthways to get more out of your copper tape. But in all honesty, if you're starting out, I would recommend not to do that. And here's the reason why. Whenever you cut it lengthways, it's so fragile and it's so fiddly and it almost like spirals up in a, sp in a spring kind of thing. And it's, with, with the copper tape, it's really important that the um, connection is intact. So if you rip this copper, it can stop the flow of the, of the electricity. So I'd recommend you just leave it leave it in place um, and not cut it lengthways, at least until you've got used to it. So the other trick is to burnish down the copper tape, make it nice and smooth. You can use a bone folder like I have been doing here, or you can just use your fingernail. So Craig, maybe try and lower the stream quality. Yeah, Craig is here trying to um, do that. Oh, thank you, Craig. Okay, so this is negative and this is negative. So this is going to go here like this. But the tricky section here is that we now need a piece of tape to go on the top of this. But it's not as tricky as you might think, so don't worry. So what we do here is we're gonna need something a little bit longer and we're going to put it up along this like this and I haven't taken the sticky off yet I'm just kind of measuring eyeballing how much I'm going to need uh, maybe to about here I'd rather be too much than too little okay so this big weird looking flap is actually going to help me to make sure that I have a connection on the top of this battery so let's this back. <laughs> My son just came in, says Suze. Says, now that's a card I'd like. Yeah, I know the boys just love these interactive cards. It's like, ooh, science. I just absolutely love it. I'm going to bring this over like this. Down roughly to where it hits the card. Try not to um, pull it too much. And then I need to turn a corner to bring this up here. So the thing with the corners, like I say, you want to be gentle with this tape. It does tear, you saw me rip it, so I may tear it easily. Um, so you don't want to accidentally do that. So the trick is, I want to go up there, so I pull it down first of all, opposite direction from where I want to go, and I give it a little tickle, like that. Can you see? So it comes down like this, and then you lift it straight up with your fingernail along the edge of that and then you get a nice neat corner so i'm going to do another one just to help me get to where i want to go so the least amount of um, tape you have the shorter the distance to travel for the circuit. But when you're experimenting, don't worry too much to be honest. Okay, so the tricky bit is, I think, making sure that you get used to the gap that you need to leave because it's not a big gap. Well, it's not a small gap. <laughs> Let's see if we can convince my boys to make a card. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be fun. I think there's a lot more boys starting crafting these days. I'm certainly hearing a lot more crafty boys. Um, and make me a Mother's Day card. <laughs> so
Sue says that she needs to make one because she lives in a house with tech nerds. I love tech nerds too. I wouldn't be here if I didn't have a tech nerd in the house. He's watching me. <laughs> okay, so I've got my little LED here. Let's pop this on and make sure that I get it right around. This is where it's helpful, where I have marked the negative is the negative, the positive is the positive. And can you see the little, the gold, the gold, the gold contacts there? You want them to be on top of your tape. So it, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I promise you get used to it. But what you do have to do is give it a good rub down to make sure that it is nice and snug. So let's do that. And then this is the, the moment of truth. Oops. You have your negative here, so this needs to be the negative. And you have the positive there, so this one needs to be the positive. So I'm just going to hold it for now and just push down on this. Ta-da! See, it's simple. Simple. Oops, it is sticking. So I know that I want this to be here. Boom. And I'm going to use some liquid glue for this, I think. Or else a little tiny, I might do a little tiny glue dot. I have some Zing glue dots. But I'm going to be very careful that I don't get it on the tape, on the copper tape. We do not want to get it on tape, so I'm going to go on either side. If I can see these little glue dots. Like teeny. And put that down there like that. And the other trick that I wanted to share is try not to have it so close to the edge. Um, I, th I find that it's a lot easier if it's not quite like really close to the edge. Also, as you go along, test it because you want to make sure that um, it's still working before you stick everything together. Absolutely. Okay, so this is quite a large piece. I could just fold it over like this. The other thing you can do is fold this back like that and then fold it over so it's a bit neater. Whatever works for you. Now, I don't want this to be on all the time. I want it to be like sitting raised up and then I have to push it in order for it to connect. So I'm going to build <laughs> a little um, little house for him to sit in. Where do you get your zing dots from? <laughs> Craig says 50 pounds call out charge plus parts of labor. Oh yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth says, mm, can we pay you in cards? Yeah, that's going to be more like it. <laughs> Although, I think I mentioned last week that Per Craig actually doesn't really get cards from me. He's like one of the only people that gets a, a one bought from a shop. I love him so much, I will buy him a card. There we go. How about free service for Mother's Day? I, I would try that still, but in the UK, Mother's Day was a little while ago, and I got... For a present I got a big shot caddy so uh, I'm not sure if I could swing a second Mother's Day I mean I'll try. <laughs> Tam, Tammy is here as well welcome welcome we're just putting together Chibi Tramix card so I was going to say that I'm going to make a, like a little little house for him to sit on so let me grab my phone tip and stick some of this together and I've completely lost my Fiskers, scissors, I shall move on to, move on to this guy. So let's see. I'm jumping ahead here, but I'm just trying to get a rough guide of what that's going to be. And I think I will need to chop this in half for the bottom edge. Also, trim that little guy off there. So when I cut this in half, another little tip, I'm sure you might know, but the 
half the edge that I cut I always put that on the inside of my card and the nice factory sliced edge I put on the outside of the card how awesome that your hubster is with me oh, well he wasn't he was inside um, but he is obviously being such a darling and keeping an eye on me keeping an eye on you guys more so to make sure you're you guys are happy that's why he wants to to make sure husband of the year chosen by best craft <laughs> yes i think that um i would like to nominate him for that because he does have to put up with quite quite a lot and anything technical i i can the thing is for my job i used to um manage office centers and we used to have to manage comms rooms and support clients internet so i'm actually more than capable of it but whenever i'm at home i don't want to have to think about that i think that's a blue job and yes sexist alert absolutely but there's certain things which i think are blue jobs i.e craig jobs and certain things that I think are girl jobs, i.e. pink jobs. Not that I think pink is only for girls, and not that I think that blue is only for boys. No, 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 not nothing. I don't think that at all. It's just what I call it. Whenever it's a Craig job or a Leslie job. Folding the laundry. I will do that. That is fine. Putting out the bins. Craig job. Leslie is scared of bin juice. Bin juice is evil hey Rebecca so good to have you here glad I got to catch some of this I was telling um Hydriad um Tamara who was here earlier she said I'm so scared of missing and I said oh well, last time I crafted for like three hours so I doubt you're gonna <laughs> I doubt you're gonna miss it <laughs> oh speaking of missing things I think it's time to do um the giveaway so let's finish off this um, finish off this little circuit and then we can think about the giveaway so what I do is I hold it over and I hold it flat against the foam on this side and flat against the foam on that side and can you see it's already lighting up so I need to raise it up I found this before you kind of need in my opinion I need three layers of this scotch adhesive for this <laughs> oil changes yes blue job Taking the trash out, yes, like I said, bins, us. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, blue job, I agree. Blue job. Killing spiders. <laughs> I, you see, I'm not that fussed on spiders. I don't really care much about them. He was, Craig and Piper were um, outside there and they opened the craft room door to the back garden and the, Craig was like, oh, that's a false widow. That spider there is a false widow. Oh my goodness, I don't really know what to do. It's a false widow. And I was like, just leave him be, but close the door. I'm getting cold, for goodness sake. <laughs> uh, glad I can catch it from Australia. Oh, it's so good to have you here. Kitty giveaway, yes, coming soon. Oh, hair is randomly here. Okay, so we've got three layers now. If I hold it flush here, flush here, ta-da, not sagging in the middle and um, if I push down it connects fabulous so I'm going to do that remove this remove this remove this pile it over so I'm going to make sure that it is taut because that helps make sure that I don't get any connections when I don't want a connection so I want to be able to do this Ta -da! now I've added three layers here so I do need extra layers on the side see it's so much fun and it's not as hard as you think I'm going to add these layers no I'm not I'm gonna leave these down and I'm going to do what I did last week, which I once again admit is not very technical. We've got a technical card over here 
on a not so technical giveaway, giveaway time, giveaway time. I'm doing a dance, you can't see me, but hey. Um, it's giveaway time, I'm going to give away the Curious Kitties. I'm going to do exactly like I did last time. I need to find one of my post-it notes so I can write down a magic number. So the rule for the giveaway is this. Um, the giveaway is to someone who is watching at the moment. And I'm going to write down a number between one and 50, but not when you can see it, I will do it off camera. And then I will give you guys some time and you are allowed one guess. If you get a good one, it's gonna be a number between one and 50. And I um, will write it down here and you guys have to guess a number. So write one guess, one guess, okay? So between one and 50, let me see what I'm gonna go for today, okay? I'm gonna write it down. I'm writing it down. I've written it down and I'm going to put it down here and cover it up so you can't see it make sure I don't accidentally move that <laughs> and we get one guess so you get to guess a number between 1 and 50 and then once I believe that everybody has had a guess, one guess, I'm cheating now, then I will move my post-it note dispenser and see who won. And if nobody managed to guess the exact number, then we'll go for the closest, because I think. Hey, Kevin, I didn't even see you there. So glad you're able to join us, Kevin Bray. If you guys don't know Kevin, please go check him out. Follow him on Instagram and all that jam. I love seeing all his posts. Mario, any single girls on here looking for a boyfriend? I don't think so, but you know, you're welcome to ask. Only, only boyfriends um, that are willing to provide us with lots of craft materials and of course make sure that you are willing to spend your Friday nights um, alone because because this is what they're going to be doing. They're going to be watching me. <laughs> oh, here we go. What have we got? Uh oh, two seven says Carrie. Oh, let's see. 42, I have to guess 42. Why do you have to guess 42? Hmm. I'm glad to have you here, Kevin. It's great, you're just in time for the giveaway. So if you haven't already, guess one number between uh, one and 50. And I have written down a number on here, on this post-it note number between 1 and 50 obviously and I will be revealing it shortly and whoever is the closest will win the Curious Kitties stamp set from Lawn Fawn designed in collaboration with me Craig if you're on Please do some administrator duties. And um, in the meantime, I think probably everyone has left a number. So I'm just beefing up the inside of this card. I don't want it to, to sag in the middle, can you even see? So I'm just beefing up a little bit here. Fact, I'm going to leave that back down there so we can see it in action. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? Eight. Did anybody get eight? Let's have a look. Scrolly, scrolly. 
We've got 44, 32, 14, some 40s, uh, something numbers in the 40s. Cynthia DC has a 7. Heather has a 7. Oh, last week was 17. Rebecca's trying to be mathematical about it. Awesome. It's um, 32 from Suzanne. I think the sevens are the closest, which means we have to do round two. So I'll put that over there. So Cynthia and um, Heather, we're going to do round two. And it's just between you two, okay? And same again, because then hopefully we will be able to find the closest. Pick a number between one and 50. And whoever is closest wins. So Heather and um, Cynthia, wasn't it? Yeah. So let me write down my number. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hard to hard to choose. Mm -hmm. Okay. To wait for your comments to come in now. The number has been chosen. <laughs> That's not fair. That's not fair. Sure it is. Okay, I've covered up most of my sticky tape, so it's not going to actually stick to anything. But I just want to test this in action. Hold that down there, and we can still see the light coming through. Um, I've seen cards before where you don't actually cut the hole, and um. I've also seen cards where they just put it like the top layer flush on top of the light and that works as well but I'm actually not going to have this exposed it's going to kind of be behind the candles so it'll just light up slightly like that so what have we got okay so the competition this time is just between Heather and Cynthia it is round two <laughs> And hilarious, they've actually guessed very, very close together. So Heather said 21. So Heather said 21. And Cynthia said 22. And the winning number is 44. So that means Cynthia is the winner. Congratulations, Cynthia. You win this stamp set. Curious Kitties by Honey Bee Stunts and I <laughs> will get this in the post to you. If you can please visit my um, website, Hungry Heffy Crafts, and there is a contact me section there. You can send me some um, postal details and I will pop that in the post. Congratulations! So happy for you! Okay, so while you guys are celebrating, I'm going to grab my Misty and show you a little trick that I have for putting these together and maybe tidy up some of the stuff while I'm here. So um, I just realized that there was a question and I don't know whether I answered it. Somebody asked me, where did I get my Zing Dots? I can't get them over here. When I went to Creativation in January, we went to Michael's. It was my first Michael's experience. How exciting. And I bought three packets. And I'm still on my first one, which is pretty good going, I think. Hey, hey, cheeky. Um, yeah, I was happy that, that I got them. And yeah, I am using them pretty rapidly but I'm still on my first packet so I might have to I might have to purchase another couple of packets before I'm back in America <laughs> that's funny screamed with my mom oh, I'm so exciting Cynthia oh that's nice congratulations so here is an, here's another reason why I use a rectangle die for the circuit panel and then the same die from the front you could do this with like even if you wanted to use that scalloped one just use the same on top and bottom and then i put it into the corner of my misty can i see thank you craig can i see the zing dots please 
These are the Zing Dots. Let me see if I can get a packet so you can see what they look like. Oh, sorry, they're not Zing at all. They're called Bling. Zots Bling. Minuscule. Tiny. Chiquitos. Uh, yes, there's 325. And they're small. Let me see if I can show you how small they are. To be honest, I have found that their size varies. So some seem to be like an eighth of an inch almost and some seem to be much smaller than that but they're really thin um, so you can sort of roll them up if it's just something very very small let's see if I can get one on my fingernail or something so you can see I don't think you can see it. no you're not going to be able to see it sorry they're just tiny you can see that night Tammy <laughs> you can watch the rest later Yep, so I am enjoying these. I did have some other, I think the other ones that I have, they come in sheets and they are definitely an eighth of an inch, but they are a little thicker. They're not quite as thin. I don't keep mine in the box. Right, so I think I was saying that I put this into my nestle. I nestle it in the corner and then I'm able to nestle the top layer into the corner as well to line up the top and the bottom perfectly. And you don't have to use this. I also, before I had my Misty, I used the, what do you call it? The scoring tool to do it. <laughs> Stacy says that when she won last week, she yelled, I won! And her son from the other room said, what did you win, mommy? <laughs> Poor Craig, can I not leave you ladies for five minutes? <laughs> It's not just ladies in here. Kevin joined us as well. And there was loads of boys last week, wasn't there? Okay, if I got this right way, I have. So nestle this in. And if you want it even more perfect around the outside, you can see this wee gap there. You can use, um, you could use that same die, you know, the stitch rectangle die to cut out some uh, craft foam and then just cut on the inside. That would work as well. Here we go. Oh, it's a little hard to see. So yeah, I like using my Misty I, for, for lining up, but you can use a, um, you can use other things as well. There's lots of other things that you can use. Anything that's basically got like an L shape would work. Um, back in the day when you had the stamping, stamping was it the stamping up stamp position or tool? It was called like the stamp -a jig or something. That was fun too. <laughs> I think it's past Ma Mario's bedtime now. Hopefully he's gone. Ah, I feel like I've made it in the internet world whenever you get silly trolls just hunting for um, attention. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm going to... Oh, I was going to say I was going to raise this up, but to be honest, I think it's going to be a little too much if I do that. So I'm going to put some vellum behind it to try and um, mute out some of the colours. Let me grab that. And I have a little piece just here that will be perfect. Silly man took his crafty crayons and left. Do you think he had crafty crayons, like distress crayons? Because I don't have any of them. Maybe he can stay if he's going to share them with us. <laughs> Noelle from Paper Clipping had really naughty guys. We would we would just boot. <laughs> That's right. Craig, he was just looking for a crafty lady. Well, he might say that now, and then he'll realise that um, they they demand like a craft room and all this attention and, and and every month they have to buy crafty supplies because well they've kind of got an addiction <laughs> i think uh i think craig knows what i'm talking about right i'm contemplating adding a little bit of yellow to my candles but 
can find my more prize red booty. Let's see. Y15 will do the trick. I'm really enjoying this paper that snow give give me. It's adorable. Let's stick this guy on here. Uh, Tammy says, that's a cool trick with a misty. What a fab tip to use the misty to line up layers. Yeah, I use that little tip nearly all the time. It's good. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for joining us. Michelle, did I make this up? Are you in the UK as well? I can't remember. Crafty ladies are so expensive. Mm -hmm. Not just crafty ladies. I think just crafting in general. <laughs> hey Donna, can't afford it on his pocket money, probably. Still in mum and dad's basement. <laughs> Amber's joining in as well. <laughs> You're going to have to go back and start from the beginning. Oh, watch the end first of all. <laughs> we want to have you with us. We've got to get a second job to support our crafty habit. Yep, that's true. Very true. Snow, how are you feeling? Snow was feeling a little bit pearly earlier. And she had a bit of a sore head. And I said, you absolutely have permission to put me on mute if you get sick of my constant yammering. Because let's face it, I pretty much talk for like two, three hours the whole time I'm on here. Right, so I want it just so that I can um, not quite see it, if you know what I mean. And I'm going to add a little bit of yellow marker here, just to blend it out. So even without the light, it has a little, little yellow kind of tint. Oh, snow. Snow says her headache is actually really bad. I'm sorry. I hope it gets better soon. I'll try not to scream whenever people join the video or win competitions. <laughs> she's committed. She is. She's the best. Can you even see? There we go. Let me move this up a bit. So I've already got three layers of foam on this, so I'm a little bit reluctant to add another layer of foam, even though that might make the light stand out a bit more. But it's okay. Oh gosh, Tamara's adding adding a, a language that is outside of my knowledge zone. I'll just have to leave them to it. Okay. I'm going to grab a little bit of super thin foam tape. Just because. Mm -mm -mm. I'm pretty sure my headache would still be there if I wasn't watching, so I might as well enjoy it all. Bless you. It's great to have you here. We all wish you to get better very soon. Right. I'm going to try and hide that hole slightly, but not, not too obvious. <laughs> Love it. Okay, put this to the side, so that's for Carrie. Um, and part of me wants to add some, oh, maybe I could do sequins. I was going to do some like um, gray star stamping or something, but um, I think maybe I'll add some sequins. But before I do that, let me grab a card blank so I can stick it and do a message on the inside. Bye, bunny. <laughs> She's off to feed her man. Thanks for joining us. So, like I said, this isn't actually a card yet. I'm going to put this onto a card blank and I'm going to use the same trick again to line it up. But before I do that, let's get it stamped up in my Mr. Rooney. This is the one thing that I do enjoy the large Misty for is whenever um, I want to do the inside of a card and I'm able to open the whole thing out. That's what I really enjoy. 
So sending birthday bear hugs for a very special friend. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my friend. Surprise. So much cake, so little room. And don't forget this guy's gonna go at the bottom. So what do we think? For a very special friend? No, sending birthday bear hugs? Maybe that would be cute. <laughs> You're inspiring me to make a Chibi Tronics card today. Do it, absolutely do, do it. And send it to me. <laughs> Try and line this guy up. I think that's almost straight. Hey, have you seen the grid? It's like a, an acetate grid that you can put on here and it has lines on it and it helps you position it perfectly. I need to get one of them. I do not have one of them. I'm not sure whether people just make them themselves or if it's something they buy. Part of me wants to emboss this again and to stamp this in red again, but it really, I don't know. I think maybe I'm just gonna go for black. Birthday bear hugs, is that what I went for? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> we can DIY then. It's snow. Snow knows everything. She's the best. Yeah, I think that we had this conversation though, Snow, that I'm lazy for. Is it, um, is that obvious yet? <laughs> you can print them. Now you're talking. I actually have printable acetate, but if you print them, isn't it then important to make sure that you cut it correctly? Because if you don't cut it correctly, then it's got a big dirty mark on that. And if you don't cut it correctly, then it won't actually be straight, right? <laughs> You've given, Craig has given Snow moderator rights so she could listen to it. You probably should have asked her if she wanted them before you give it to her, but thank you. And that would be awesome. You know what that means, Snow? It means that Craig means <laughs> that, that Craig wants to go back to doing something else. He doesn't want to have to keep an eye out for randomers. <laughs> thank you, Craig. The pressure? No pressure, love. You don't don't you worry about that. Okay. Under pressure. See these guys? They are going. I've heard stories of how they like schmook together, and then they break. And if you misty owners experience this, I have not, as you can see. But it's um. <laughs> there's been a couple of times when I really thought it was going to. <laughs> um. Let me grab my ATG gun. Oh, sorry, that was really close to the microphone. I'm sure that wasn't pleasant. So I've got an ATG gun because, going back to that lazy comment earlier, I like to be able to get my adhesive down uh, nice and quickly and then it runs out on camera. Um, however, I have discovered that I don't know why, whether it's a faulty um, batch or it might be um, it might be the fact that it's too warm in my craft room. It's now 23 degrees in my craft room, so um, it might be too warm in my craft room and the adhesive gets a bit gummy or something. I don't know, but sometimes when I do the roller, it, it catches and the whole tape goes horrible so I'm not really in love with my ATG gun anymore I once was but now I'm not bye Suze thank you so much for joining us Woo. just wrap them with washi tape and leave a little tail to grab them you're talking about these aren't you yeah yeah I don't like that mm. I've seen so many people do it and so many talk about it but there's something about the feeling of the magnet. I know that makes me really weird, but I don't really want to do that with the washi tape. I figured if they break it by more, they can't be that expensive, can they? I don't think so. Stick this bad boy on. He's so cute. 
I think you might need a you might need a little bit of glitter marker on that balloon Tammy says, <laughs> you're the same. Does that mean because you don't like the feeling of them? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you put them down there. Oh, also, I've just remembered that um, back at the start of the video, and I'm not even sure if, who I'm not sure who answered, who asked the question, and if you are indeed still with us, but somebody said, um, asked about my craft mat. Anybody remember who that was? Oh, I just had some glitter here too. So, my craft mat, um, let me grab this one. Okay. I have a cutting mat, oh, it's a big beast. So it's an A2 cutting mat doesn't tell me a brand because I probably bought it in a um, discount store or something and um, so it's an A2 cutting mat that I use for and um, I have on my my other craft desk on the floor and um, I had an older one before I bought that one and I got from Santa I'm not sure where Santa got it probably Amazon or something one of the non-stick craft sheets and it was a big roll and it was a trick by Jennifer McGuire I think that um, she sticks it or um, adheres it to the craft mat the cutting mat so I just did that I first of all I sprayed the cutting mat with spray adhesive and then I laid the the craft sheet on top and I turned it over and with a craft knife I ran along the edges to cut off the excess and then you can't really see here but on the edge like where it goes over the edge you've got the craft sheet here and the cutting mat here I took some thick washi tape it's like over an inch thick it was from Ikea or something and I just seal the edge like this so that it held it in place and um, so now I have one of these which is a quite a, you know quite a sturdy craft mat and um, I also have a cutting one let me grab the, the those sequins that I was talking about from Lucy's cards from my little packet of sequins what have I got these ones these are the ones that I think are just beautiful are they gorgeous might be a wee bit too much blue though she's also got some other ones there like magic wand can you see them beautiful beautiful we've got cottage garden a bit more mints and blues and yet very like spring pastel colors and then I have got some swan lakes as well and um, Santa brought them I believe uh, so yeah let's see if we can have some of these oh they're just so pretty I think they might be going a wee bit over blue oh, over blue overboard on the blue but I do love teal and who could blame me really because teal is the best maybe I'll only have one or two teals Pam says I love Lucy's yeah he's great I love Santa too mm -hmm. me too my uh, Santa is always very good to me so good that sometimes I question um, I, I <laughs> I question if maybe he's a wee bit delusional <laughs> then like I'm pretty sure that I actually don't deserve all of this no he's good though do love a Santa come on Lucy 
Right, okay. You don't want to come. But I want you. Come here. So these, some of them have sort of a pinky sheen to it. It's, it's definitely like a see-through color, but it has a bit of a pinky sheen whenever you put it against white anyway. I'm not sure you can even see on the video. Move you all to the side. Thank you very much. Rebecca says, totally agree. Teal is my favorite color. I painted my bedroom with one wall. Teal! Yay! Last, not November, but the November before, I um, got a job where I was able to work at home. And this was incredibly exciting for me because I um, was then going to um, use that as an opportunity to create an office for myself. So we have got a room in the house, which was a playroom or is a playroom for Piper. I should probably use my tweezers for this rather than my finger. Um, and I decided that I was going to redecorate it. So I did, I planned it out, I got my notebook, made sure that, you know, I had totally all planned out. And it's painted teal, a very similar color to this card, even though you can't really see the true color of the card, I'm very sad about that. Um, and it has red accents. So it's actually, not that I remember, or realized this at the time, but it's very like, you know, Avery L, it's Avriel, their brand colors. So you have a teal and a red. And it's so pretty. And then, guess what he did? Guess what he did, people? Craig got a job where he got to work from home, <laughs> which is amazing. But I lost my office. I, uh, <laughs> I now have to work in my craft room, which which is in a way good because if it's if there's downtime or if I'm stuck on a really boring conference call, I can maybe crack out the old um, Copic markers without anyone knowing and hopefully no one's listening, no one from my work is listening onto this um, YouTube video. Um, so that's good, but it also means that um, this the craft room is not my total sanctuary now, if that makes sense. Hee <laughs> hee, pretty pretty. This card looks really gorgeous. I love it. it. Says Tamara. Thank you. Does that lid on your glue work well? No. <laughs> I wish my birthday was coming up. Ah. I've also done some teal foil patterns in frames and painted an R in teal. I want to see it. That sounds gorgeous. That sounds amazing. So no, somebody said, Tammy says, D did that um, lead work well? I don't think it does, to be honest, which is a real shame because I really wanted it to. It might just be clogged. That could be the problem, actually. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that is probably the problem. Get a big chunk of glue coming out of it. That might work better now. We'll have to try that on the next feed and um, experiment. I also have one of my glossy accents, but to be honest, my glossy accents is so old. It's a bit gloopy. It's a bit gloopy, unfortunately. Okay, guys, I think I'm done. Surprise! Sending birthday bear hugs. <gasps> He's so cute. Oh, I love him. I think I'm done. That means I can, uh, well, not so much that I'm looking forward to it, but I'll have to tidy up now. <laughs> Let's see if I can do a Oh, Cynthia says that it um, her glossy accents gets clogged anyway, even though it's new. It's good to know. Hey, I've heard that um, I'm. I've heard that 
Nouveau, what's it called, Morning Dew, is very similar. And um, if anybody has tried that out, I would love to hear if that is indeed true. Um, I, yeah, I would really love to know if that's true so that I buy that instead of another um, glossy accents, although I'll probably will buy the glossy accents anyway. <laughs> I've seen other crafters pop the tip of the glue bottle off before putting the fr ah maybe that's where I'm going wrong ah okay okay that might work it's a bit of a it's a bit of a pain do you, I guess what you mean I think what you mean is you take this bit off here I'm off camera you take this bit off here um that could work I have taken this out before because well not with the glossy accents I don't think but with this one I have because I have got the little the tub of multimedia mat and um, I just scoop some into here because this is far easier to to handle I think so the Nouveau drops is a bit foggy morning dew isn't clear well you know what guys I am so glad that I asked you because I was wondering that very question and that was the one thing that meant that I hadn't actually ordered it yet because um, I want I want to make sure that it's actually clear cool well thank you so much guys for um, giving me that information oh I forgot to say as well I ordered the stress <laughs> Um, they are not coming until June unfortunately but I'm really excited and I hope you guys will join me when I get them to maybe do an unboxing and give them give them a little bit of um, a whirl. But I've also got a lot of things coming up shortly in a few weeks and um, exciting news to share with you. But for now, I am celebrating Chibitronics. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have enjoyed watching the process and have if not enjoyed, at least somewhat tolerated me um, yammering on. And um, maybe you will have some inspiration now to go and play with some Chibitronics. Yay! I imagine that I will be back next week. This is becoming somewhat of a Friday fun time for me. And I'd love to see some more people join us. So if you're able to share the video, or share like one of the little graphics or something like that spread the word that would really mean a lot to me um, and I love having you guys here you're the best <laughs> lots of lovely cheerio messages now go and get some rest I'm tired what time is it it's nearly half 11 oh I'm getting faster <laughs> yeah sometimes I talk too much <laughs> Thank you for sharing and spending time with us. You are most welcome. Thank you for spending your time with me. And Donna says, I'm going to have to investigate this more. Please do, yeah. Um, I will be going back into my Chibitronics blog post, the one with the little um, Nessie. Um, that was the giveaway blog post. I'm going to be going on there and picking another winner because the previous winner has not yet claimed their prize. So I'm going to be in that um, this week. So if you did indeed enter, you may actually be still in for a chance to win. And I hope that our winner tonight, Cynthia, has sent me a message so I can pop that in the post. Maybe I can send it off tomorrow morning. Hopefully, after a little lying. <laughs> well, I will say cheerio to all of you lovely ladies and gentle peeps. And I hope to see you next week. If you guys have any um, requests, any questions, if something you want to see, something you want to talk about, please, please let me know. And I will try my best to um, work around that. Also coming shortly, I know that I will be getting a a go press and foil machine shortly and i hope to do a 
live YouTube video with that and make a project with that, which is fun. And for now, I am gonna sign off. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it may be for you. And um, I will take a photo of this over the weekend and pop it up on Instagram and on my blog, Hungry Hairy Grass. All the best to you and I'll see you again soon. And until the next time, happy crafting. Bye.